Hello, the only Nikki here. So it's been a bit since I've done a video and quite honestly I've been kind of out of ideas. Um, and I know like anytime I ask for ideas everybody's like I want to see a car organizing video and I keep saying I'll do one. I just I'll do one, okay? It's going to be later this summer. I got to have some work done on my car. It's a mess right now. But like I, I don't drive that much so I'm not in my car so there's not much to organize. <laughs> I'm not like one of those um, Mo stay at home moms or, or you know moms or you know working mothers or whatever that you know have kids and they're toting around all kinds of stuff and they're going place to place to place so they gotta have everything really neatly organized I just if I drive I drive like three miles away and back sometimes I go to my parents which is like a half hour so anyway beside the point so today's video um, I'm doing uh, on planners um, which I did the review oh glare glare of my Mark's, I, okay, whatever, of my planner a while ago, so I'm still using that one currently, um, but I, I, I started having these thoughts about planners. Um, I'm on a planner group on Ravelry called Planner Porn, so come check us out if you're on Ravelry. We have a lot of fun there, and we talk about all things planner, journal, pens, stationery, all that good, happy stuff that we're all addicted to um, all the time. It's a, it's a lot of fun, and it's a great group. Um, hi, everybody. So there was a thread that was started there on that was titled Planners for the Unbusy and it got me thinking about planners in general and I've had an addiction to planners for as long as I can remember. I remember when I went to college back in, uh, it was in the 90s so whatever, but the first day we got there, um, they in our dorm rooms they gave us packets with like information and maps and all that good stuff. They gave us a spiral bound weekly planner and I was like oh, it was like heaven for me and I loved that thing and it was really it was I, I love planners just for planners like I had a zip up Franklin Covey for years that I like never really used I just had it to have it and uh, and to look at but this thing I used obviously I was in college and you know I had a, a busy schedule classes and tests and theater and everything else so it was good to have um, and since that day I've just been addicted to planners now, my problem I've had in the past is I'll just buy planners because they're pretty and they're really cool or I like the way they're set up and I'll use them for a week or two and then they go away. And I mean, you've even seen on my YouTube channel here, like I'll review one planner and say how awesome it is and then, you know, three weeks later I've reviewed a new planner I'm using and then a new planner and a new planner and I get kind of fickle. And I've fully on admitted that, especially when I did my uncalendar review, that I am fickle. I change my mind a lot. But... Uh, I don't personally see that as a big problem because your planner needs change over time. But the big question in my mind was, are you using your planner? Um, or, you know, are, do you just have it just to have it? So, and this goes back to that planners for the unbusy. Um, someone on the board is, I, th I think she said she was retired, she doesn't work anymore, and she doesn't do a lot of, you know, she doesn't work, she doesn't do a lot of other events, so what could she use a planner for? Um, and that's just it. Like I have found myself with my planner going hog wild with decorating my pages, making them. I'm I'm sorry for the glare. I'm doing this, the only like natural light I have in the house. So it's there we go. Yeah, you'll see. I'll go crazy. Like I'm covering it with stickers. And there's been some weeks, like this week, I wasn't really super busy. There we go. Focus in. You know, but I, I and I didn't decorate much. But I'll have weeks where I just sit down on a Sunday night and I just go crazy with washi tape and stickers and highlighters and pens and everything and then I carry it around and I open it like twice the whole week. Now I open it almost every day because I you know there's a couple daily things I track but I wasn't even really referencing it and I put to-do lists in there and I never looked at them and that's kind of dumb. So I've gotten much much better about that and there are weeks where I just I don't have that much to do I don't have that much going on. Right now, total opposite. I'm insane right now. Uh, just taking time to do this video. Anyway, um, I have a lot going on and I'm actually using my planner a lot. But are you using your planner or are you just decorating? There's no harm in that. If you just want to have a planner and you just want to make it pretty just so you can look at. Let me tell you, I leave mine open on my desk at work and sometimes I just like to look at it because it's pretty. Because um, I haven't decorated it nice. And that's, I mean, that's good. That's a, that's a happy thing for me. So... But if you don't have a need for a planner or if you're finding yourself not using it, there are other cool things you can do with your planner or with um, Midori's, which 
I'm gonna do a video on that later. Totally separate video on Midori Traveler notebook. Um, but uh, there's there's all sorts of cool things you can do with, with planners and with journals if you're not a busy person or you don't have a lot of tasks or projects going on. Um, and there are blog posts everywhere I've read on this. If you do any kind of Google search or check Pinterest, but if you like to garden, for example, there uh, I've heard of these things. I don't garden. I, I kill everything I touch. Um, there are um, gardening journals specifically and gardening planners. So you can plan, you know, your your planting and your weeding and whatever. I'm sorry, I'm ignorant when it comes to gardening. Whatever that involves. Um, it's a good place to keep lists or track things. Like if you're trying to drink more water, if you're trying to eat better, meal planning. I don't particularly meal plan because nine times out of ten I'm cooking for just me. My boyfriend works weird hours so he's not always home for dinner. So it's usually just a bowl of cereal uh, or, you know, a Hot Pocket. But meal planning, planners are fantastic for that. Because you can write out your meals on the days and then, you know, plan your, your menu and then pick out your days for grocery shopping also and like, you know, what you need to buy. So meal planning, uh, it's a great place to keep lists like books you want to read, book reviews, um, if, you know, if you want to take notes on books, um, movies you want to watch, TV shows you want to watch, exercising. I use mine a lot to track my fitness because I'm a, I'm a bit of a fitness buff and, ah, buff. <laughs> Uh, I work out a lot, but I like to track what I've done so I know, you know, what I can, what I've done over the last week so I know. I try not to duplicate my workouts within a two-week period if I can help it. Um, <clears throat> plus, you know, I do arms one day, legs the next day, so I'm not wearing out any one part of my body at one time. And cardio, I hate cardio, but I gotta get it in there. Um, plus, I have a minutes goal of, of how many minutes per week I want to work out, so I try, try to track all that on there and uh, calorie intake as well. So um, those are things you can track. Like it, they're great for tracking things, not necessarily planning things. So those are just some cool ideas. But regardless of all that, uh, my big question of the day is, are you using your planner? And the answer should be yes. If you just have it and it's collecting dust, you don't need it. But even if you're just using your planner to doodle in, decorate and sit on your desk and look pretty, that's okay. Um, if you're using it aggressively and you're planning out every minute of your day, that's okay too. Some people are like that. I don't like to plan too much ahead of time because uh, uh, I like my things a little more fluid and you know some days I wake up and I don't feel like washing the car that day even though it's in my planner so I'll put it off for the next day or it's raining but regardless. So that's really all there was to this video. I mean, it was just kind of me blah blahing and chatting and I kind of went on off on a lot of tangents so I hope any of it made sense at all. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it and um, look forward to an upcoming review slash maybe new planner. <laughs> I know you guys, I know. Uh, on a Midori's Traveler, Midori Traveler's Notebook. I always say that wrong every flipping time. And it's actually not a Midori, it's a Fodori. I'll get into all that in the next video. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please give me some ideas because I don't know what to make videos about and I kind of feel like I just sit here and talk in your face and you've probably turned it off by now. But uh, if there's something you want to see that you think would be cool, like I see these videos of people doing planner decorating. I don't know if you want to watch me decorate my planner. I like to watch other people decorate their planner so maybe you would like that but whatever. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've got the Midori one coming up. Maybe I'll do a car organizing video. Um, and I don't know, things on minimalism. I, I, I'm not an expert on that. I'm just dabbling my toe in those waters. So I, I can post about that if you want me to. But uh, just let me know. And I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Plan on. Oh, no, I don't like that. That sign off. That, that was stupid. Um, have a great day. <laughs> I think I like that one a little bit better. Thank you.